So this is a cute little video I just want to do briefly about one of the tools I use to design the pedals. I used it to design all the pedals so far, Tone Lord, use it for designing the um, Quad Screamer. I'm using it for designing the Grand Classic right now. And this is called MicroCap. And MicroCap 12 is the latest version. It's completely free. The author chose to make it free when he gave up updating it. It's been around a very long time. It used to be very expensive. So this is quite cool. So on the, on the very left here, you should see a graph. And this is a stepped pot showing different boost curves according to the pot position. And the circuit in the middle is a classic cut and boost base EQ, active EQ. It's a classic circuit. And the lines you can see here, the middle lines when the pot's at the middle, so it's nice and flat. And the lines above it are boost, the lines below it are cut. So I've got it to draw those graphs. So what we can do with this circuit is we can change some parts in the circuit and see what's going to happen. So at the moment we've got a boost around, uh, whew, what's that say, 45 hertz is our, is our current boost. So we could change one of these circuit parts here. I'm going to go over here and change the, uh, oh, I've got my cursor, there we go. So um, change this capacitor here, which is linked to this other one, C5, C6, C5 links. So when I Reduce this by a factor of 10, because capacitors work invertedly, so from 470N to 47N. We'll move, let's recalculate the new frequency curve. So now we're boosting the mid range around 440 hertz, a bit below mid. And so we can try out different things. Our 440 is a bit low. Pro rata, I'd like it to be 50% higher, like 660. So if I reduce my capacitor by about 50%, it'll increase it by 50%. So 50%, 44, maybe 33 n because that's a in standard number and yeah 33 so now if i hover my cursor over it, it's telling me we've got 660 hertz how cool is that so we do lots of lots of clever little things with that we can try out different components we can say what would happen if i change this part to 1k and we just change it and it's like oh it's gone higher frequency and we've got a kind of weird curve thing going on there um so we don't like that we'll undo it and yeah, just a cute little tool that I'll show you. Now, the only other thing I'd um, add to this is when you design with these tools, almost always when you hear it and you listen to it, it's completely wrong. It's completely different. No matter how many times you tell yourself mid range is between 600 hertz and 800 hertz, when you plug it in and use it, you'll, you'll go, oh, I don't like that. That's not what I was looking for at all. Ew. So. It's a starting point and it's an iterative procedure. So you might sketch something in this and think that looks pretty good. And then you'll try and go, oh, that squeals, it's got a horrible sharp noise. And you go back to it and change it and improve it and see what your change mean. But a lot of the time it really boils down to just shoving components in the board and saying a bit brighter, a bit darker, a bit sweeter, a bit richer, a bit dirtier, a bit more gain, a bit less gain. Can I put a bit of a filter there with a couple of components? But then it's really good to go back to this and see, you know, what has what have those changes done? I've tried I've tried changing this part here. You know, uh, maybe I've made this one one tenth of the size of the others. This is a three n three, and oh, that's, that's done something interesting, and I can see what I've changed. So yeah, there's that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little thing. Uh, ideal for any circuit designers because it costs nothing. Costs nothing, and it's truly, truly brilliant. Ah, cheers.